We've heard there what the situation is facing the Palestinians, facing the situation in Gaza. All this began, of course, on Saturday with that attack. And uh, I want to join uh, you now with Jonathan Silver, who is the son of Vivian Silver, who is a peace activist believed to be a hostage in Gaza. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you for, for being here. This must be an incredibly difficult time. Can we start just, just by explaining what happened, what you believe to have happened to your mother? Um, I hope in this point that she's being held in Gaza. Uh, I don't uh, have concrete uh, information and uh, the bodies are yet to be all identified. So this is my hope. Where, where was she? Uh, what, where was she on Saturday? Do you know the circumstances? Yeah, I was in touch with her. She was hiding in a safe room, but she couldn't lock it. So she was hiding inside her closet. Um, and we were talking up to the point she wrote me that they're inside the house, armed uh, gunmen. Um, and we said our goodbyes. We wrote each other messages of love, and uh, that was it. I can't even imagine. It's very painful. And since then, there's not been any word, no inf it, Some people I know were tracking the phones of their loved ones. Yeah, we did uh, do that. Um, Use the friend's connection. And um, on Saturday evening, it was still in, uh, in the kibbutz, the phone. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really mean anything because they took phones and um, now I had a visit from an army official today, only today, six days after, and she told me they tracked her phone as well, and it's in Gaza. But again, it doesn't mean... That's, the, that's all you have. You, you don't have the proof, you just... Have, you know that her phone is in Gaza. Bits of information, yes. And when you see these pictures now of what's happening in Gaza? I think uh, what happened on our side of the Gaza border and what's happening now in Gaza is just, this is the atrocities of war. This is the outcome of living in a state of war for so long. And this is exactly what my mother was fighting all her life to prevent and to find solutions to. And I'm really sorry that she, she didn't manage to to make it. Mm. Because she now is, if she's in Gaza, she's presumably being moved or she may not move. I mean, we don't know what, what, what Hamas is doing with hostages. Yeah, I hope they're taking good care of them because that's their leverage. Mm. Um, I mean, they're useful for them. So, and, you know, I also hope that with religious ethics, they won't hurt her, a 74-year-old woman. Can you tell me about her? Can you just talk to me about your mum? Um, you know, she was, she looked fragile and small, but she was fierce. Very strong woman, prominent in every place she's been to. Um, and she was a peace activist. She dedicated her life to peace and to find solutions to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict um, through organizations and volunteering and public speaking. She was very much involved the past few years in an organization called Women Wage Peace. And they just had a big international event two weeks ago in the region. Um, and she was also a wonderful mother. Um, and grandmother to four. Mm. And if there, if there is any way on earth that you know they see this, have you got a, a quick, a quick thought, a message? You know, keep, keep her safe until you get what you want, and set her free. Everybody, all the captives. You know, it's not just her. It's not personal. It's uh, I. I'm suffering my personal pain, but it's uh, 
because there's so many captives there, kids, elderly people. Uh, it needs to stop. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for listening. We keep saying it, don't we, Diane? Just uh, layers and layers of tragedy and injustice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.